It's so good to be here with everybody. And it's um, a beautiful day for a funeral, I must say. Um, hello, Rise and Resist! <laughs> hello, Gag! <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. So glad to be here with so many people who are out here to, to help us continue the fight, to keep this fight that I know all of us have been doing for months now. And I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'm tired, I know we're all tired, I know we're all fighting so much right now. But we keep showing up and we keep coming out here, don't we? And that is amazing. And that is honorable, and that is brave. And this is what fucking democracy looks like, people. Now, because this is a funeral, I do want to have a quick moment of silence for our not so dearly departed Mikey Flynn, for our not so dearly departed Puzner, Puzner, whatever his name was. <laughs> Asshole. Um, and for the many, many failures that this presidency is running up against, because we are fighting back and we are building resistance. Yeah! Yes. It feels very good to be here with some levity today, to have some laughter, to have some laughter in deadly serious times. It's been so deadly serious for so long that it feels good to come here and build human connection at a time when it feels like all of humanity is under attack. This, I believe, is the solution to the problem that we're seeing, to step out from behind our computers, to step out from behind social media, to come together face to face, to find each other, to find that love, to find love across difference and to build movements out of that, to organize and to move forward and to dismantle the hatred and the oppression that is centralizing itself in the White House right now, in Congress, all across America. This is the first step. And it's that love that I want to build a movement from personally. Because I don't know about you, but I can't handle every day waking up terrified. I can't handle every day being driven by fear. That can't be a way that I sustain for four years. And I know that most of you feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. And I can't even let hatred be what drives me forward because that exhausts me too. I can only hate so much before it consumes me, before it completely tears me apart. I can't hate, but I can love. And I want to rise up and I want to resist because I love myself because I love my community, because I love you, because I love people from marginalized communities enough to rise up and resist and fight the fuck back. We have an administration that goes the other way, that is building upon hatred and oppression of marginalized people, centralized power trying to consolidate power in a way that we have never seen in a presidential administration, in a way that, and I can't believe I'm using this rhetoric these days, but is unpatriotic and un-American. Yeah. He's dismantling checks and balances. He is ensuring that he can have his way at all costs with no regard for a system that we have adhered to for hundreds of years, from the systems that have protected us from oppression and tyranny, authoritarianism for over 200 years. That we cannot stand for. And he is building that power on the backs of marginalized populations. He is building it by marginalized trans populations. He is doing it by marginalizing immigrants, by marginalizing Muslims, by marginalizing communities of color. Proof that if one community is marginalized and oppressed, we all are, every single one of us. So we have to fight all of it, and we have to dismantle all of it. And even more importantly, we have to listen to and allow to lead those very communities that are being oppressed because they didn't wake up on November 9th and suddenly realize that the world is an unfair place. They've lived in a world where it's always been unfair. They have always lived in oppression. So they know. They know what we need to do. And so we need to work together and work across difference and allow that leadership to come up. We white cisgender men need to step to the side and allow all voices to come up and be heard. This is a diverse movement and it is the only way that we will move forward and we absolutely have to do that. And then we need to come together 
and we have to fight for rights for each of those communities. We have to come together and support the Gavin Grimm case that is going before the Supreme Court in March to address these goddamn transgender bathroom bills that are not about bathrooms. It is about existence in a public space. If you cannot use the bathroom, you do not get to exist publicly. We cannot stand for that. We need to come together and we need to uh, protect every immigrant community that is under attack right now, Muslims, undocumented communities, because as we scale up a massive human rights affront, as we uh, prepare to build detention centers and to s massively scale up the Coast Guard and uh, immigration agents to try and oppress people, to brutalize them, to degrade them, to lock them up against their will, that oppresses all of us and it puts all of us in danger. We have to rise up and we have to keep fighting this. And we will do this by containing and removing the cancer that is moving throughout our system right now. We have to contain by supporting every check and balance in our government that we have to make sure that this tyrant cannot get away with everything that he's doing right now. Find those checks and balances. Find those brave individuals in Congress who are willing to stand up and nevertheless persist. To find those people who will fight and who will investigate and ensure that we, brise, that we bring to the surface all of the corruption, all of the connections to the Kremlin, all of the treason that has gone on up to this point. And then in everything that we do, we need to think about removing. Don't just react to everything that they have us reacting to. Don't just focus on containing them. We deserve better. We deserve the entire administration removed from office immediately. <laughs> Carry that with you in every organizing event that you have and everything that you bring together. Don't just think about how to contain it, but how to remove it. How to save ourselves four years of hell. The problem is with Fascism, the problem, remove, 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 We will remove them because the problem with fascism is we can never make our society safe enough to stop every trick, every sort of bit of treason that they're willing to do. If they don't respect the system, then we cannot contain them within the system. We can't protect ourselves from them. We cannot safeguard our democracy enough from this administration. We never will. So we need to remove them. No more Trump shit. No more Trump shit. No more Trump shit. So, I'm so grateful to be here with you. I'm grateful to everyone who comes to Rise and Resist every Tuesday night to organize and plan events like this, to come together and educate ourselves so that we can organize ourselves, so we can mobilize ourselves to get out there and oppose this administration at every turn. And I look forward to working with everybody more and more. I know we're tired. I know that, I don't mean to project my tiredness on everybody else, perhaps I'm doing that. <laughs> but I know that we will come together and we will keep fighting. Let's get started. Just getting 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 But we will come together and we will support each other and we will lift each other up because that's the only way we're going to do this is together. So I'm honored to be here with all of you. I'm so grateful for everyone who comes out and is fighting every day who's just getting started. And with that, rise and resist! 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 Rise and resist!